They are from the Monitor Lizard family, if you've never heard of the Komodo Dragon. They are primarily found on the Indonesian islands and are the largest extant lizard species. For emphasis, the Komodo Dragon grows up to 3 meters and can weigh up to 70 kilograms. As a result of their size and height, the Komodo Dragons control the ecosystem they are endemic to. Komodo dragons have muscular bodies, which they use to overpower prey even larger than them. They can take down pigs, water buffaloes, deer, and even humans. They have a venomous bite and prey mostly on birds and mammals. The Komodo dragon has 60 sharp teeth. They use the force of their power to bite all 60 into flesh. The lizards eat by tearing large chunks of the flesh and swallowing whole. Also, for prey as small as a goat, the lizards have an expandable stomach, so they can swallow them whole. They can't swallow people whole because their bite is not strong enough to cause colossal damage. However, this is not to encourage you to try and keep them as pets or play around them. While they may have a weaker bite compared to prey of their kind, they have lethal saliva. They produce excessive amounts of red saliva that help them with swallowing. This saliva goes through their razor-sharp teeth and can kill in a few hours. Their technique of biting and pulling, coupled with the forcefulness of their muscular physique, might put you in a dangerous situation. The bite is excruciating, and their neck is strong enough to aid the aggressive biting. The chances are low for humans and other hunted species in the case of Komodo dragons. Furthermore, even if you do not die, there is a high possibility that you will be left with unbearable wounds. If you're still not convinced about the possibility of a fatal incident with the Komodo dragon, we have compiled some of the deadliest human attacks launched by Komodo dragons. Join us as we explore some of the times Komodo dragons proved that they should be avoided at all costs. Number 7. Boy Killed in 2007 Komodo dragons are only found on the eastern Indonesian islands of Komodo, so when there are attacks, they are coming from these parts. On June 4, 2007, when this 8-year-old boy was killed, there were no fatal incidents with the Komodo dragons in 33 years. The scrubland area had been living side by side with the lizards. Townsfolk walked through the area's national park and did not encounter any problems. Sadly, this boy was bitten by the waist and tossed violently from side to side until his uncle rescued him by throwing stones at the Komodo dragon. The boy died an hour later from the excessive bleeding. The park managers blamed it on the dry season, which meant that there would be less prey for the animals. They launched a hunt for the particular Komodo dragon to ensure that it did not repeat its behavior. It is not entirely surprising to see Komodos walking in residential areas, and this attacker's presence in the surroundings could have been fatal. Even in the case where the boy had survived the initial attack, the venomous saliva and virulent bacteria could have easily killed him. That is why it is necessary to avoid Komodo dragons entirely. Number 6. Fruit Picker Mauled by Komodo A man on a sugar apple tree in an orchard was mauled in March 2009. The 31-year-old Muhammad Anwar was on the tree while the two Komodo dragons waited for him under it. Once he fell, they attacked him in another rare Komodo dragon attack on humans. He sustained injuries from bites on his hands, legs, neck, and body. The venom transferred into him killed him later when he was taken to the clinic. The more endangered the giant lizards get, the more dangerous they become. Moreover, their habitat was getting smaller and their prey was smaller. They had to make do with the remaining game that wandered into their five islands since they had killed most of them. Furthermore, the Komodo dragon requires at least 80% of their body weight per meal, so small prey might not satisfy them in one meal time. The attack was another isolated case as the islands record a cordial relationship with the animals. They used to sacrifice goats to them because they have considered them incarnates of their ancestors. This concept of the spiritual totem is slowly fading away, causing these attacks. Number 5. Photographer Attacked by Komodo Dragon Loli Ike, a 67-year-old photographer, was attacked by a Komodo dragon in May 2017. 
The Singaporean tourist was staying on the island and then searched for the lizards to photograph them. He did not ask along with a park ranger, which is the advisable thing to do. While filming, he came upon a Komodo eating a goat. He was so excited to find the creature that he did not look around. Another Komodo dragon was approaching from behind that bit him. Fortunately for him, the attacking lizards was small and he sustained moderate injuries on his legs only. The park officials revealed that the attack happened during the mating season of the Komodo dragons, which is usually between May and August. That explains the aggressive nature of the lizards. The animals coexist with the natives and have not attacked a tourist in so long. Ike received first aid and then was transported to the clinic for further examination. He did not go through any life-threatening situations, thankfully. He ended up learning his lesson and still escaping with some decent photos. Number 4. Jurassic Park Incident A new Jurassic Park-inspired resort under construction in Indonesia recorded the most recent Komodo dragon attack. The Rinka Island Resort has been controversial because the locals find it exploitative, yet work is still ongoing. Elias Agus, 47, was working at the resort when one giant lizard struck in December 2020. The victim was bitten and had his skin torn in many parts. The animal also threw him around a little before letting him go once others rushed to the scene. The right team on the grounds mobilized and attended the scene as soon as they were informed. The security and other employees quickly whisked him on a speedboat to the nearest hospital. As mentioned before, the venomous content of a Komodo's bite could be dangerous if not treated immediately. The timely intervention from the co-workers helped August as he was back home safely in no time. Some indigenous reacting to the incident explained that the loud trucks and ongoing construction have disturbed the lizards and caused them to attack to stop the project and its accompanying noise. This could be true, but also not proven in any capacity. Number 3. Shipwreck Survivors In 2008, a group of European scuba divers had tough luck at sea near the Flore region of the eastern island of Indonesia. A strong current threw the group out and their boats capsized. When they managed to make it ashore some 25 miles away from where they were spinning in the tide for 10 hours, they had come to the famous Rinka Island around midnight. The island was no lesser luck. They had shown up to the home of over 1,300 Komodo dragons. The group was attacked immediately after they showed up on the island. A Swedish woman recalls the first night where a lizard was chewing on her diving weight belt as she tried to smack him with it. Her colleagues also tried helping by throwing stones at the lizard. Despite the opposition, the Komodo was eyeing her bare feet. They had to go through this ordeal for two more days and nights, all while not eating anything besides raw shellfish from the rocks. Only on the third day, an Indonesian rescue team spotted the emergency floats they had spread across the rocks. Number 2. Office Attack Mayan, a guide at a national park, went to his office in the morning, as he always did. The offices are set on stilts and the Komodo dragons sit under and receive some food scraps. It is worthy of mention at this point that Komodo dragons can climb. When Mayan settled behind his desk and looked down, he saw Komodo staring back at him. One of the cleaning staff had left the door open the previous day, and that had given the lizard access. He was probably looking for food and settled under the desk to rest. Mayan decided to withdraw his leg quietly, but a swift movement caught the lizard's attention, and he quickly grabbed onto the park guide's legs. The Komodo clenched its jaws and bit deeper. Mine used his other leg to kick the Komodo's neck, but it did not work. So he used his hands to rip open its mouth. He cut open his arm in the process. When he finally freed his leg from the mouth of the Komodo dragon, he called for help. All his colleagues were in the cafeteria, so only one came to his rescue. The rescuer was also unable to go inside because the Komodo was still moving about in the office. Number 1. Sharon Stone's Incident One of Hollywood's leading ladies, Sharon Stone was once married to investigative journalist Phil Bronstein. Bronstein had always wanted to see a Komodo dragon up close, so Stone arranged a visit to the Los Angeles Zoo as a surprise. The keeper asked that Bronstein enter the cage when they arrived since the animal mildly behaved. 
Once inside, the animal was licking Bronstein's shoes, so the keeper again advised him to take the shoes off because they were probably reminding the animal of its white rat meals. Once he was barefoot and ready to take a photo, the animal launched an attack on him, resulting in his entire foot getting eaten. He pinned the animal's neck down and tried to kick it off his foot, but the more he tried, the more the animal also attempted to maul him and kept revving up energy. Bronstein finally opened the animal's mouth and threw it off his foot before running out, chased by it. His back also got scratches from the animal attacking from behind before he made it out. Would you like to have a Komodo dragon as a pet?